Hey guys, we're back here for another quick build insight. So what we've got here, this is the start of the Pro Climber system. So traditionally what you would do is you'd have like a foil back sarking or your roof blanket would go straight over top of your purlins and your roof sheets would sandwich on there. What you end up with is your trap condensation inside between the roof sheet and the bottom of the blanket. If any moisture gets in there, it gets trapped between each layer of the purlin and actually can't get out. So the difference between this system is we actually create a ventilated cavity underneath it. So the difference with this, the, the Mento wrap goes straight over top of your roof trusses or your rafters, how we've got it here. Then as you can see zoomed in here, we've got a 20 mil counter batten on top. Then our purlins go on top here as well. So the purlins is what your roof sheets get screwed to. What that does is it actually allows this ventilated cavity underneath your roof sheet between that and your roof wrap. That way if any condensation or water or for some reason you get a roof leak, nothing will get trapped in there and it can actually run all the way under your purlin and down your wall wrap. This system, what we've got here at the moment, it is a little unfinished. We've got the blue Extasana wall wrap to go on yet. When that goes on, we'll just untack the bottom of the, the Mento wrap here and they'll overlap each other. Everything gets taped, then that way you've got one continuous rain jacket all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna give you a little demo. I've just got a bottle of water here and I'll just show how, if any water actually does get under there, how it can run out. So if we pour it just on top of the wrap here, clear indication, we've got that void between the wrap and the pearl in there and any water will actually run all the way down that cavity and completely drain out. So there's no damage around your timber frame, there's no standing water there and it's gonna prolong this building for life. Okay, so you do need to be careful about how you get ventilation into these areas. So this one, the idea of running the wall wrap, uh, sorry, the running the roof wrap all the way down the wall wrap to get ventilation into these areas, this isn't a traditional boxed eave. What we've got to match the original character of this home, it's actually got a ventilated eave just with timber battens underneath it. So underneath the bottom of the fascias here, we'll still box it out with a couple of pieces of timber, but by only having the timber battens under there, that'll still allow plenty of ventilation to get that stack effect all the way up into this void here. So you're just gonna be really careful about not closing off uh, to be able to get air into that void because just because you've got it there, if you can't get air in there, it's not going to dry out. So just a really crucial point just to ensure that all the way at the top, all the way at the bottom, if you can get some mid ventilation in there as well. So that's how we've overcome this one and this is going to guarantee that it's going to stay nice and dry.